How's it going folks? Just stopping by a mate's cafe out here at Harrisvale west of Ipswich. Um, it's an aquaponic cafe so I thought I'd bring you along and just show you the system and the fish he's running in there. So I'll give you a bit of a look at Ben's setup here. He's got a lot of the seating made from reclaimed pallets and IBC cages. The trellis as well, they're made out of reclaimed IBC and he's got some reclaimed electrical conduit I think that is acting as a bit of a um, roof system just to hold the shade cloth up give you somewhere nice and shady to sit. Um, please keep in mind we're in the middle of winter here so things aren't looking as lush as they normally are but I mean look at that greenery. I mean I'm still very impressed. It's looking fantastic. Uh, we'll have a bit of a walk through and have a look at what's in each bed. This one over here has got some green onions up the back there. We've got some basil. I mean not many places in the world can grow sweet basil in the middle of winter. We've got some very suspiciously familiar looking tomatoes there and a couple of red plums over the back. Over here we have some yellow pear tomatoes and there's some red pears growing in the next bed. And what I really like is what Ben's done with these signs. In each seating area there's a bit of a sign just explaining different aspects of aquaponics. This next bed is very impressive. He's got some eggplants, there's still some fruit coming on those guys, some more basil, some more green onions and a beautiful looking amaranth. Beautiful looking red one, um, loads of seeds on there. And I noticed there's a jar down the bottom there where he's saving the seed, good one Ben. And here we have a sign that explains and runs through the nitrogen cycle by the look of it. Over the back there in this bed, a couple of leafy greens down there. There's a look at those eggplants, some funky looking ones those guys. Some more hanging tomatoes, some nice sized ones up there. More sweet basil. Then down in there we have some more greens, salad greens, some flat leaf parsley, some beans growing on over the top there. And then <laughs> some seed catalogues. And then over here some aquaponics frequently asked questions. And this last bed is a bit of a hodgepodge as well. It's got some greens, looks like beetroot, more green onions and some chilies growing in the root pouches. Ben's just got soil in these pouches and they're sitting probably about 40 or 50 mil deep or you know one and a half to two inches into the grow bed. And as you can see from the wet sides here, the water's wicking up. Uh, those roots will be coming out, being air pruned off, and yeah, we've got some gr nice growth on these guys, considering the temperatures we're getting at the moment. Loads of fruit on there. And I really like that he's got a rose popping up in the middle. So I'm not too sure how Ben's got the system plumbed up at the moment, but I'm fairly sure it's all just a constant flow system. So down in here for the biomedia, Ben's using reclaimed bottle caps, I'd say from the cafe. There's also some shade cloth in there, a bit of bird netting. So I reckon that's a fantastic idea. I mean, even the, the Bennett's in, it would have been a recycled one. Next to it, we have a radial flow filter. Um, pretty much all the same as the ones that we have set up. So the water comes up and then has to flow down around the edge of the bucket, which is under the water there. As the water goes around the edge, it slows and the solids precipitate out. And they collect on the bottom down there, where we can take them out via a valve. And the water just flows through to the biofilter there. And over there you can see the return line. I'm fairly sure that conduit's the return line. And these white lines are running out to the different systems. Through the back there, there's actually the deep water beds, deep water culture beds, but we're not going out there today. So these are some of the fellas that are driving the system. Whole heap of nice looking silver perch in there. There's some rather nice sized ones in there too. There's a couple, that big fella up in the corner is looking a little bit shy. He's looking like he's well and truly over the half kilo mark. Probably pushing the six, 700 grams, well over a pound. Great looking fish. Up the back there, we've got a couple of catfish hiding in the corner. There's a Tendanus and the other river catfish. Five of them. Five of them. Down here we have some other fish. Not too sure on these guys. Have to ask Ben. That's pretty much all the, um, the guts of the system. And down over here we have where the sump tanks are. Uh, these are where the pump is located and pumps up, splits the flow to the fish tank and the grow beds. It's not a bad looking system. Very, very productive as you can see. For winter, it's pumping out a lot of green and a lot of this stuff Ben uses in the restaurant itself. So, my burger's ready. I'm gonna sit down and have a munch.
So there you go folks, there's a bit of a look at the aquaponic system here at Macaways Cafe. Um, just, you know, really incredible to see what Ben and his brother have done with these tables, incorporating grow beds, reusing the, the pallets, the IBCs, um, secondhand conduit, uh, the reclaimed shade cloth, all that stuff. Pretty fantastic, I reckon. It just shows that these things can be set up on the cheap. Um, also too, if you are ever in the Harrisville area, look Ben up at Macaways Cafe. Uh, top bloke and he'll take five minutes out uh, to show you the system and explain how it works if you want to know. I'll pop a link in the description below to Ben's Facebook page and also the website but other than that I'll pretty much will leave it there. If you do have any comments, questions or suggestions feel free to pop them in the comment section below and I'll get back to you where I can and I'll catch you next clip. Cheers folks! And I gotta say Ben makes an awesome hamburger sandwich doesn't he babe? Yes. Oop, and it's gone. <laughs> Thank you.